What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. If you want to focus in on the Florida Panthers, sign in uh, Rocco Grimaldi to a three-year entry-level deal. Uh, he's going to forgo his uh, last two seasons of eligibility at the University of North Dakota. He was the 33rd overall pick in the 2011 NHL draft. Now, I've been high on Rocco Grimaldi since his days with the U.S. development team. Really high-end uh, offensive point producer who, um, smaller guy. He's uh, five foot six on a good day. But he's electrifying offensively and, and definitely a, a treat to watch, you know, anytime he, he has the puck. And, uh, you know, help lead the team. It was a key part and come up big against uh, in the gold medal game for uh, for Team USA in the 2013 World Juniors. Uh, this year at D Dakota, he had, I'm just looking it up right now, he had 39, yeah, 39 points in uh, 42 games. And uh, last year, 36 points in 40 games. He was a he his freshman year, he redshirted. He played four games at two points and uh, was injured. You know, the big you're not going to question this kid's skill or his heart. Not at all. You know, he, he's one thing a lot of people knock him for, and I, I think is a definite comment to him, is he's a deeply religious kid, and uh, he, he holds true to his convictions. You know, he, he doesn't back down. He wears his religion on his sleeve, and you respect the hell out of someone for that. Um, and, you know, regardless of your beliefs, if you are that uh, passionate and show that much, you know, faith and, and dedication you, you got to respect that and you know tip your hat and say you know you know good you know good for you that, that's an amazing thing to have it's such a secular and I'm, I'm not promoting religion of any means i'm just saying you know it's a good thing um so his heart his skill over there his size and uh, again i had him going in the first round back in 2011 um and again i i liked him since he was a development team california native uh undersized score but uh you know amazingly creative with the puck on his stick and I really think that if he can avoid the big hits, keep the shiftiness, he's going to be a um, solid professional hockey player. I think had he gone back to Dakota next year, he'd be, I don't, I don't know where I'd put him my Hobie Baker front running, but I'd definitely have him, you know, somewhere in the top ten uh, in terms of being just an amazing all-around player and uh, a guy that can, that can uh, dominate uh, the college hockey ranks. And, you know, I think he would have been good prime for a huge year next year, but he'll be... Um, He'll be playing, I, th I think he'll start next year in the AHL. I mean, I don't think he's too far off for the Panthers, but, um, you know, I think he, he fills an organizational void in terms of putting the puck in the net consistently. When, you know, Nick Bukestad uh, had, a, had a great year this year and loved them to score, but he had, you know, I don't think he had 50 points. So, you know, having a, a young kid that can, can score at a high level is a um, definite positive. So, again, I'm happy for Rocco Grimaldi, and I wish nothing but the best going forward with, yeah, St. John Sea Dogs. Anyway, that's like this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the uh, Florida Panthers side of Rocco Grimaldi to a three-year entry-level deal. Stay tuned for more episodes about the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.